Hi and thank you for watching. This is a quick how-to video using your Evacco system. Um, how to correctly walk test uh, basic configuration using our virtual software. The virtual software is the, the tool that we use to, to simply add and remove devices, uh, sounder devices onto the system, um, change text, put in text and to correctly walk test the, the system. Um, remember to obtain your, your key from your building owner, the responsible person. Um, they'll give you the key to, to gain access to the enclosure. Once our key is inserted, open, okay, we then have access to our evacuation system and we'll simply insert your, your standard data key, MX Pro fire, fire power key, it's your M MCA key. So we identify controls for service and maintenance use only, insert our key and we open up the enclosure. So what we then do is we, we take our laptop or our P, PC, uh, in this case this is my Surface Pro and simply insert my Surface Pro or my PC into the direct A to B type USB or B type port that's located on the process, processor. We still do have our serial port if you, if you still need to use serial and um, what we do is we then launch our virtual terminal on our software. Uh, so this is like the, the virtual display of the control equipment. We, we launch our MX terminal program and press the, the menu button. So you can see normal panel operation if you're unsure, just click on the status. Hopefully it should be fault free, otherwise it will be giving you a fault on your control equipment. So panel is normal operation. Press the menu button and fairly straightforward. So we loaded the config file in, that's okay. We can toggle the switch, the switch will activate the, the floor of origin, but there's a, another tool which we have, is we go into the test menu and we select outputs. Put in your password, just making sure you are authorised, so put in your 7654 and press the tick button, okay, and you can see your, your different zones, so we've got zones 1, 2, 3, uh, ground floor, scroll to the right hand side of the ground floor. As an example, there's the apartment, apartment 4, press the tick button and that will test the sound out. Okay, so you can hear that operating in the background. Scroll off the device will immediately take the, the device out of test. So depending on how many flats you have on your evacuation alert area will depend on how many devices you have. So scroll down onto your, your next zone or your next floor, first floor, scroll to the right hand side. And you can see I've got flat apartment 106. Press the tick button, test the device. Yeah, and you can hear the sounder. Obviously, if that sounder was to, to go into fault, then it will give you a fault indication. Once you're happy with the test menu, go through all. Every sounder should be tested, so go through every single evacuation zone, testing each sounder, and don't also forget to, to test the, the toggle switch for, for activation for the floor. Um, other menu functions, so say it's just like your fire alarm control panel, go into your tools menu. Commission, put in your password, 7654. And again, to add and remove devices, simply navigating through this menu structure. You'll notice with the cursor key, if I press number 1, it will take me straight to my loops. Number 2 will take me straight to my zone. So an example, of press number 2, there's shortcuts. Okay, so I can change the zone text. Put in the text that you see fit or if you want to change. Okay, the more information you've got into the system, the better. If I press number one, or I can just navigate, press number one, goes into loops. Number one again, loop one. Okay, or I can just use my navigational keys. Okay, useful tool is the meter menu. You can see the voltage out and the return voltage. Pretty, pretty healthy. If you want to add a device, then you re auto learn the system adding the device. You can view and edit devices, same as just having an LCD display. So you've got all these different sounders devices that you, you can configure. Scroll to the right hand side, assign it to a zone, and put in the appropriate text. And then what you've also got is your output groups, remember. Okay, so it's quite important um, just to remember that the, the panel is in commissioning menu one and in order to, to safely restore the panel back to level two working condition, go back to exit and put in your password 7654 and return the panel back to level two menu structure. 
Uh, it is important to do this. Um, just remember, uh, the evacuation system has a general fault LED. Uh, we have configured this general fault LED to illuminate when the panel is in programming mode. So when the, so it's basically a reminder, just to give you indication that the panel is in level three. So do remember to, to put back to, to level two before leaving site. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for further videos.